Echoing double file. Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194, and I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to stop in and visit and check out my video. And we're back here at Masano and Low Fuel Motorsports. And I qualified 12th, with like a 133, 9 something or something like that. Let's see what we can get to have a decent start. Don't know it. Green light, go, go, go. Don't know any of these guys. Car I don't the right. remember any of them anyway. Clear on the right. Car on the right. Clear on the right. On the right. Clear on the right. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Halfway decent start, nothing great. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Tires aren't getting up to temperature for some reason. Coming up a little bit, just slowly. Run up late, the fossil steps are far. Warning for exceeding track limits. Brother. Be careful of that.
McLaren almost lost it. Back on me again. Remaining on the driver ahead in sector three. Well, no, they the fastest stop so far. from the Porsche. As a matter of fact, the Lamborghini, the Lamborghini's passed him. Delivery on that Audi is really nice. Losing to the car ahead of sector one. I'm a McLaren fest up here.
Thought he might get him. Too much oversteer. See, I mean, just a little bit too much. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Tough field, man. Tough. Make it pass. Good pass. Awful lap here. Thank <laughs> you. 
five more in the bank, but still. Go the main. This has been your personal best. Great race. One of the best paces I've had, and I still barely can break the top 10. I love this Bentley. Mistakes here and there. Yellow flag, yellow flag, be careful there. There's a slow car up ahead. Car on the left. Bear on the left. Thank you. 
the uh, Audi. Overall, the car did good. You know, I did all right. All right, check it flag. Good job. You did the best you could. I'll bring Finished the car back. ninth. Started twelfth. So I mean, could have been worse. Thank you, Joe Blow. So that was uh, good right on the fuel. Oof, man, I got, you guys are flying. Yeah, it's absolutely, absolutely flying. But uh, like I said, uh, 
we'll go check this out, look at the data, and see if I can uh, make any improvements, and uh, we'll be right back. Alrighty, well, again, just like normal, I do probably do double the laps that I was thinking about I had to do, but I just wanted to keep going over it and trying different, some different combinations and things like that, so um, I think it's a little better than what I had during the race. Um, ran some decent times, a lot more consistent than I was. Uh, well, I wasn't real bad there, but I mean, it's still, to me, it's a little bit more consistent than it was in the race, but it had a little bit more pace, especially now because the temperature, I've been going for, let's see here, got 41 laps. <laughs> so I've been, I've been going for a while. So um, like I said, I think it's uh, a lot better in uh, the short run and the longer run both. So let's just make a quick lap. It just felt in the race, it just kept feeling like the car did not have grip. It just, you know, it was even, it was balanced, but it just felt like the tires were just not, you know, were just sliding. So I softened it up just like a click. I tried stiffer springs, weaker, I mean, I tried all kinds of different combinations of springs, but I finally settled on, I think it's like one click less. Just a little softer, try to get it to grip a little bit better. And also went with uh, a click less wing than I had in the race. Imagine that, huh? <laughs> well, I tried max wing too. I tried it everything. I've tried all kinds of different stuff, but I think it just helps it a little bit rotate with that one click less than I had, which I didn't have max wing in the race either, but. I mean, but I did try that, which wasn't terrible, but. But right there too, this corner here, that corner there, you need it, you need it to rotate pretty good. And here is really slick. Coming onto that front straightaway is really where I was bad, where it would just feel like no grip at all. That was a 133.89. So, you know, not not a bad lap. Um, you know, I still have fuel. You know, I started with the same, actually more fuel than I had in a race because I started the race at 41. All you needed is like 41 liters. So, but I started, I just put 50 in it. It's close enough. Um, so, or 51 or something like that. So, that's close enough just to simulate that, you know, running like uh, 25, 30 minutes. But it's got good speed. It's got it's got pretty much everything. Um, but I'm going to we'll go over the setup here, and you can see the timetables. I mean, you got all kinds of 34s. I mean, almost almost everything's 34s, and I mean a lot of them are mid to low low 34s. I mean, in fact, that only was that's about the same. 33.17. That's a 03. So. That's another tenth. So, in the last sector. But, you know, there's a lot of lower 33s, mid 33s, another 33.99. Um, but, yeah, there's a lot of them there. So, I was happy with that. And let's go with the setup. And we got 25.4 left front and left rear. 26.4 right front and 26.3 right rear. The toes at negative 0.1 with the camber at negative 3.4 and the caster at 10.5. And on the rear, the toe is 0 0.05 with the camber at negative 3.2. And I've tried more camber. Uh, I finally settled for this because it just seemed the best. And I could feel the edge of the tire more. And um, I didn't really see a performance gain with more negative camber, so I just took it out. I ran a whole bunch more negative toe, um, tried all kinds of different toe combinations. Nothing really seemed to make a difference. Um, so I didn't see any stability improvement. I didn't see performance improvement. 
So I just uh, went with this to try to be easier on the tires. Electronics, three, four, and one. Of course, fuel, like I said, at like 51 liters. You can see how many sets I had. Uh, of course, no graining there. Usually I had light graining. Yeah, light graining in the front, but the wear is really good. So the wear seems really, really good. Um, it's just a teeny bit more to the rear, but that's okay because if the car starts understeering a little bit as it goes, it's going to start wearing the fronts later on in the stint. So I think it'll be really good. Really, really good. Uh, mechanical, got four on the any roll bar, 60 on the brake bias, and you can go down to 59 with no problem. Steering's all the way down. The springs are 145,000 all the way around, and I think I had it at 150 before the one more click up uh i softened the bump stop rates up 600 on the front with the bump stop range of five and on the rear the bump stop rate is 500 with the bump stop range at 16. any roll bars three and the preload on the diff is 50 which i took a little bit out i tried 80 and even put more roll bar to it and i, I didn't still didn't really work that good and um i actually gained that when I knocked it down to 50, I actually I tried 60. It wasn't too bad. And then still was getting a little bit of that power oversteer, you know, that I uh, was having during the race. So I decided to take uh, just one more click out of the preload, and it, it seems a lot better. So, and of course, you can always go, which I did, which helps some, go up to uh, TC4, and it really helps a lot. So, I mean, if you have a slick track or you're later in the stint, just go up to TC4. It's, you know, you're not going to lose hardly any time if any and uh you'll be better and you, you know as far as uh more consistent and you know less chance of uh putting it in the wall uh the shocks six oh, excuse me got 16 7 16 and 7 i didn't even realize that on the front and on the rear it's 12 3 16 and 3 so um and of course i went over that with motec multiple times you know depending upon the combination just to double check it and, and you know sometimes you had to you know click here down or click here down to this or that um but every everything is pretty close it actually looks really good so i think it's pretty pretty decent arrow got 55 in the front 73 in the rear with an eight rear wing and a four and a four and a brake ducts and the front arrow variation is a negative 4.9 now if it was me and let's say uh the track is Maybe you just need a little more grip in the rear. You know, maybe you just need a little bit more. Um, you got a couple different options. What I would do, because I ran it with this, with the nine rear wing for a long time, and it's fine. You can, it's very stable. It gives you some stability. So if you if you think the car rotates this too much, you know, rotates too much or a little too loose, just give it one click in the wing, and you're good to go. Um, it, it'll just be give you that extra little bit um as far as stability now right height you can also click down one and that would be fine so either way will work you can try one you know try either one and then if you need more try the other and by then it should be really good because you know you don't want to get you know to understeer to you know or anything like that so but that should be good because i ran it like like this and almost settled for this because it was running good times, running low 34s with no problems. Um, and, you know, and you can remember, like I said, the track's 26 degrees. It was a lot cooler in the race. That was at, you know, it was um, pretty cool. I mean, it was like in the – because I had to open up my brake ducts one more compared to what I had in the race. And I had to add some pressure to my tires in the race. So, again, it, you know, this combination should run, you know – high 33s without a problem uh on race fuel load it should be running no you know 33 80s 90s with no no problem at all easily um and maybe even a little faster in the beginning you might have a faster lap just one lap but it should be consistently running high 33s so basically um but if you need that little extra grip that's what i would do i would just put up one click there or one click down on the right height but again, um, I sure hope it works for you, and I sure uh, I'll have leave a link to this in the description, and of course I'll have a PayPal link in the description also for anybody who wants to help support the channel that way. And thank you for everybody that has, 
And uh, anybody, and I'll thank you to all my subscribers and everybody that supports me in whichever way, as far as you know, liking, and subscribing, sharing, uh, comments and feedback are always appreciated. And all, all that stuff helps with all the YouTube stuff. So I do appreciate it. And uh, I sure hope you come back and visit again really soon. Y'all take care. See ya.